Hardees with a dozen all in the second half. Morton hit one earlier. Doesn't go. And Barnheiser's got the board and a foul. Wow, Caleb first reaching in. That was not necessary in that scenario. And now you send Barnheiser to the line. Things kind of playing into the favor here of Northwestern in the last couple minutes. Brooks Bonhauser just two points after that career high 19 against Ohio State. The Lafayette native fourth in Mr. Basketball. He is the 16th all time leading scorer in Indiana high school history. Just saying a lot. And there have been a lot of good players. Uh, no doubt. For the biggest Big Ten experience, there's no plus like home. The Big Ten Plus app, powered by Big Ten Network. Download and subscribe now. Barnheiser hits both free throws. This is the closest Northwestern has been here in the second half. It's a one-point game. Smith able to get it across. Watch how hard they're trying to deny Zach Eady the basketball. Now they're doubling. Oh, good, good hands. They're doubling off the passer. Shot clock at five. Stripped away. And Northwestern has it. The Wildcats could take the lead. They have not led since it was two to nothing. Chris Collins directing traffic. Bowie again runs into Eady. Adij with 10. Here's Barnheiser with 7. Adij for 3. Good. And Purdue calls timeout. As a counter for the last counter that Northwestern did on doubling Edie in the post. Brooks Barnheiser was the assigned guy to go in the double. Let's see what Purdue does on the adjustment. You gotta believe they're gonna try to get it to number 15 here. Smith turns it over. See, I've, been, I've always thought this. One of the things that I don't like what Braden Smith does, he gets in the air too much. Did he, against Indiana yeah. as well in a critical juncture late in that game. When you leave your feet, everyone except LeBron James is susceptible <laughs> when you leave your feet in those scenarios. Tenth turnover of the half for Purdue. Northwestern on a 12-2 run. There's Nicholson. Oh, great read by oh, for three. Rims out. And Killis the rebound. Oh, man. Brandon Newman was playing the play. Oh, Dees went the other way. He got a clean look. Edie is swarmed. And he turns it over. Barry. Smith on the drive and he's fouled. Wow. Braden Smith, what a heady play. There was no way that he was going to score that. Look at the steal. Barnheiser on the backside. Gets the lead pass for the easy deuce. I tell you what, Braden Smith, he may have stopped the bleeding there because. He was not going to score that layup, but he drew the contact. That's a heady play. And he misses the free throw. Again, Smith, 88% on the season. His first free throw miss. 
Trying to keep the Edie off the glass here, worried to miss this one. He does not. That's nine points now for Smith, and shot clock and game clock are even here, so Purdue's going to have to foul, and they do. Northwestern shooting two the rest of the way, as is Purdue. That fouls on Braden Smith, his first, and so Ty Berry will shoot for the Cats. So pretty much you're looking at a scenario where if Northwestern can stay strong with the basketball and convert on their free throws, they might walk out of here with one of the biggest upsets of the season. So Barry to shoot two. Northwestern's hit five of his last six from the field after starting five of 20 here in the second half, and Barry misses the free throw. He will have one more. Try to make it a two possession game. One of two for Ty Berry. Here's Smith on the move. Kill a slow three. Air ball. It goes out of bounds. Who is it off? Hands on Ty Berry. They're going to definitely check. I think Ty Berry may have hit it, hit, hit it as it was going out of bounds. Yeah, yeah no it question. definitely hit Ty Berry. No question. No, that, that'll be a quick review. Right there. You even see the rotation of the ball. Yeah, change. absolutely. Smith on the move. Lost the ball. Bowie's got it for Northwestern. And he is fouled. That foul is on Fletcher Lawyer. Well, I tell you what, these Northwestern Wildcats, <laughs> hey, they are something else. Watch the defensive play. Bowie with the quick hands comes up with the steal. I mean, the defensive effort from Northwestern this second half is something to hang their hat on for the rest of the season. Five point lead now for the Cats. Bowie hits them both. And Purdue will take time out. A six point. Northern parts of this game. This and is he has a, come alive. This is a team, Stephen, that was picked 13th in the Big Ten, other than by the people who picked them 14th. Here's Edie loses the ball. Barry has it for Northwestern. Will Purdue foul? They will not. The improbable season has taken an impossible turn. Northwestern has beaten number one. 